Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about the machine group in Power Automate. So please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. In today's video, we are going to learn about machine group. So first of all, we will understand what is machine group. Machine groups allow you to group multiple machines together to help distribute your automation workload and optimize the productivity. You can assign the stop flows to a machine group and they will be automatically queued to it when triggered to run. Then when a machine in the group is available, Power Automate will assign the next available desktop flow to it. Consider that in a production environment, you have three desktop flows, right? And in the production environment, you also have, let's say, two machines. In that, if you create a machine group, and in that machine group, you assign these or include these two machines in the group, then whenever you will trigger a desktop flow, then it will be queued. And whichever machine will be available, the desktop flow will be assigned to that machine and your desktop flow execution will start and this way it increases the productivity and and reduces the workload if you want to register a machine you need to have an organization premium account in the case of a virtual machine you don't clone the virtual machine after installing the Power Automate Machine Runtime application. If machines are not affected by a change in the Power Automate for desktop organization. So these things we need to keep in mind when you are creating a machine group in Power Automate. Next is, if a machine group is in maintenance mode, all the machines of the group are in maintenance mode and you cannot change them individually. So consider you have a machine group in that you have included two machines and if the machine group is in maintenance mode which means all the machines are in the maintenance mode and you will not be able to change anything on that machine further if a desktop flow is currently running on your machine when the maintenance mode is enabled the run does not get cancelled so let's say if a desktop flow is already running in the machine group right and then you enable the maintenance mode for that group in that case your flow run will not be affected or it will not be cancelled next when a machine group is in the maintenance mode desktop flow run is put in the run queue timeout remains the same by default so i will tell you what is the timeout for the desktop flow to be in queue right when a machine group is back to active mode all the machines of the group are activated again so from this we understand that whenever your machine group is under maintenance all the machines will be in the maintenance mode and all the desktop flows will be queued to the default time So here is the some limitation about the machine and machine group. So maximum number of machines in a group which is 50. So if you create a machine group, in that machine group you can have maximum 50 machines. And maximum amount of time a desktop you can run is for 24 hours. After 24 hours your desktop flow will be cancelled. Next, maximum amount of time a desktop flow can be queued and that is 6 hours. And there are some other known limitations as well which is machine groups are not available in the government community cloud, government community cloud high and department of defense or China regions you can still run the desktop flows using 
machine management capabilities and when you trigger multiple desktop flows in parallel on a machine group machine selection might take up to 50 seconds before assigning the desktop flow to an available machine in these rare cases desktop flow runs might seem to be running sequentially if they have short run duration right so these are some of the limitations in the machine group so that is all about the machine group if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day